is Jesse Boganreef. I live in Des Moines, Iowa, and I am a glass artist. When we were first starting our stained glass company, we called ourselves Genie's Jewels, which was after named after my mom, Jeannie Bogenreef. My mom was such a big influence on my life that I wanted to honor her in any way I could. She was caring and hardworking and really left a, a positive impression for people. If I could do a little thing to make a positive impression on people, that's what I wanted to. And then gaffer represents a European term for glass artists. So to me, my studio name means I'm my mom's glass artist. Every piece has a couple of things that are similar and a lot of things that are different. So even though you may be making things that are basically the same, like let's say I'm gonna make 500 glass eggs over the next three weeks, well, there are gonna be a lot of similarities, but each one will have a little steps that are different and have their own personality to them. Color is my favorite part of glass. Then the other part of it is how long it can hang around. So I can make a piece today that will be around for over two centuries easily and people can come in here and take a class and do the same thing. And that's a cool aspect. This world has become very disposable and to have some things that can just withstand the test of time is pretty neat. But there's a lot of things that I love to do that are emotionally connected to pieces or uh, are really physically draining to make that kind of connect you to whoever buys it. And I'll always remember those pieces. I learned from, uh, young age to be aware of how much glass can hurt you. The process is going to catch you a couple of times. I'm very aware and I even give classes and my students are very safe in here. I grew up with glass part of my life. So I wanted to involve anyone that wanted a chance to experience to have that experience. Glass blowing is a teamwork job. I can get students from adding the glass, coloring it, shaping it, manipulating it, blowing it. They do everything and I'm kind of the vessel that keeps it from going too dangerous for them. My youngest classes I've given are to three-year-olds. Basically, they obviously get to pick their colors and have some hand skills. Then we've had all the way up to 97 so far. And the 97-year-old, she was a fireball. Since she had said she'd wanted to do it her whole life, and to be able to provide that experience to someone is pretty cool. The other part about it is you don't need physical ability in here. I'm gonna help you no matter what. A lot of different aspects that some people might try to limit not in here. We want to have you experience just like anyone else. A lot of times with fire comes fear also. So it feels like this dangerous, all-consuming thing. And it's about how you control it. You know, we use fire in a lot of our aspects to make the best parts of our lives. And we're basically taking a history of the universe and mixing it together and melting it together and making a thing out of it.